Jim, that PPI number, twice as hot as had been anticipated, up by 1%, and you're looking year over year up 9.7%. That's really hot, and yet we haven't seen any reaction in the market today. Is that telling you that 50 basis points hike in March is already baked in? I think that, yes. I also think there's probably people who think it's peak. It does make the Fed's bond buying program a little quizzical. I mean, I think that this is... This is the hottest I've ever seen these numbers, and uh, they merit attention. They merit what what Mr. Bullard said yesterday, and I think that we should continue to expect that Bullard's going to be right. But I also think that when you see this kind of number, you have to wonder how sustainable it is. I mean, this is like everything is red hot, and everything, you know, there's supply chain problems, and everything, there's uh, people who aren't coming to work because of Omicron. So I don't know. Uh, Becky, I'd rather bet that this is, and I'm going to say this today in my morning meeting at 1020 for the club, that this may be some sort of peak. It, it's just not sustainable. It's, just, it, it, it's too high, even without the Fed. What, it's just too high. What, uh, what numbers do we get next? I guess we'll get another CPI read before the March meeting of the Fed. What, but, what other places would you look to see well, uh, about these inflation numbers? I want to see retail sales, and I want to see uh, auto sales. Retail sales because the, we're, the, the runoff of all these uh, assistance programs, uh, will that cause right. people to come back to work? And maybe the job market won't be so tight? But right now, I mean, Jay Powell is saying, oh, geez, you know, I, man, it's not going my way. Right. And it just isn't. And he should be selling bonds. Yeah, I mean, yeah. selling bonds. I mean, you're, you're right. This idea of, of more people coming back to work, that would mean that employers wouldn't have to keep raising wages to try and lure people in the door. I know that you've seen some improvement in those numbers in the New York area, at Definitely. least. Um, Definitely. There's just there are people who want to go to work. There are people who need jobs. And they'll come to work for substantially less than they came to work for a year ago. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.